today, one of the things that I'm really excited about is I've got one of the past presidents of Social Venture Partners, Dick Evans, and you're also the president and CEO of Proliance Resource Group? Yes. How did you get involved in Social Venture Partners? Pat, a, I moved back to Dallas after spending most of my career here and decided I was at a station life where I had a little more flexibility and control over my time and also felt that I'd reached that point where uh, I could go past the charity begins at home and start looking at the give back aspect of life. So my next door neighbor, who happened to be a social venture partner, invited me to a couple of events and shortly thereafter uh, I joined, uh, got under the tent with them and as I say I've been drinking the Kool-Aid ever since. Very good. So how has it affected your business to be involved in a nonprofit like SVP? Well, going into it, I really did not see it as uh, anything that would impact business. That kind of emerged from, I think, the, the, the learnings uh, from being involved with social venture partners, which really leverages not just your financial resources, but your, your network of connections and your expertise and your time. And as a result of that, what I found is some of the competencies that we had developed within our company, we could share out and use to assist these nonprofits in their capacity building efforts. So you guys are bringing a great deal of wisdom to the nonprofit and I want to call it financial attractor factor with your guidance. I think that touches on it, depending on the discipline. You know, uh, our particular company basically deals in uh, in uh, consulting services in the area of human resource risk management and insurance. And so, like uh, any other business, nonprofits need those services. They are focused on helping and attract, re attracting and retaining the highest quality associates they can. And so we felt there were opportunities for us to leverage some of our capabilities out to assist them in doing that. Right. And we do that through a variety of means. Uh, connecting them with partners of ProLiance Resource Group that specialize in technology or may specialize in, in insurance, employee benefits, welfare programs, retirement plans, or even the administrative services that have to keep all those parts moving. Right. And so we, we said that the services are there, uh, but how do we deliver them in an efficient manner? And as a result, we, we developed what I call a pro bono comp component to our company of going in and doing what we call a value audit and analysis. So we right. kind of do that on a, on a uh, no-cost basis for qualified 501Cs where we will look at all, their, all aspects of their human resource area from compensation to incentive recognition programs, uh, time, and, time and talent management, uh, and the tools they use to try to draw those people. Right. So that service became somewhat of our free pro bono offering and then through many of the partners that we bring in to fulfill needs that have been identified many of those partners one of which I think you'll be talking with uh, here in a minute Dale Young uh, have also incorporated some of that pro bono into their business model because of the needs of nonprofit and I think because they become aware that by connecting their for-profit world with impacting social issues in their community it creates a more well-rounded culture and environment for their business. 